My name is Charlotte. I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease in 2013 and then with perianal fistulas in 2014. Hi, my name's Sean and I'm Charlotte's husband and carer. Crohn's disease is a chronic inflammatory disease of the digestive system. It's a lifelong disease with no cure. Crohn's disease isn't just about going to the toilet a lot, it's affected my whole digestive system and impacts other areas of my health. I can suffer from fatigue, anemia, mouth ulcers, joint pain, and my bowel has perforated into my hip, which means that I'm unable to feel my left leg. I also have a painful complication of Crohn's disease called perianal fistulas. These are tunnels that run from my bowel to the skin near the anus. I currently have a seat on in place, which is a piece of surgical thread that is left in the fistula and helps to drain it. Charlotte and I were friends before we started dating in uh, 2010, and we got married in 2016. Charlotte hadn't been diagnosed when we first met. This means that we've been through the whole Crohn's disease journey together. Sean has seen me through the good days, the bad days and many operations. But we've grown and learnt how to manage it together. We're a team. Everything we do has to be planned and well thought through. If we're going on a journey, I need to know where the service stations are so I can use the toilet. When we go out for dinner, I check menus to make sure there's something I can eat. Public toilets aren't usually as clean as we'd like. With Charlotte's perianal fistulas, we have to make sure it's as clean as possible because she's prone to infections. This can make travelling and going out difficult. My perianal fistulas also make sitting on hard chairs really painful, which makes going to places like cinemas or theatres difficult. I often carry a cushion with me to ease the pain. Everything turns into such an effort. It makes it much harder to be spontaneous, but we've adapted and developed ways of doing things which make life a little easier. I always carry around a bag with dressings, spare underwear, wet wipes, dry wipes with a little bottle of essential oil to mask smells in the air. It's very random, but people often comment on the smell when I've been in the toilet. When people comment, it really dampens my confidence. Whereas if they smell the oil in the bathroom, people think I just have a cold. When we leave the house now, we have a checklist to make sure we have everything. Although I feel the symptoms and physical pain, Sean is my teammate. He may not feel the Crohn's physically, but he goes through the emotions, so he's also got to have a good support network. Charlotte's mum is a huge source of support for both of us. I'm also lucky to have friends who regularly check in on me to make sure everything's OK. I often think caregivers get forgotten about when thinking about support. Sean also gets missed by a lot of healthcare professionals because they just focus on me. Charlotte's medical appointments we often prepare together. We usually have a long list of questions to make sure those 10 or 20 minutes with the healthcare professional are as useful as possible. Building trust with healthcare professionals is important to us. Opening up about my bowel habits is difficult, as talking about the toilet is a bit of a taboo. I find it hard to be open, to be honest, but when my doctor asks thoughtful questions, it builds our relationship and my trust in them. A great question I've been asked is, what's the worst part of your Crohn's at the moment? And the answer is usually my perianal fistulas. But the question makes me feel like they're seeing me as a person and not just focusing on one area of my body or one symptom. I like to be involved in Charlotte's appointments. There are a lot of questions you can ask as a carer that can improve your role. In the past, Charlotte's doctors have rung me personally after her operations and spoken to me about her aftercare. By keeping me in the loop, there's more trust and confidence in our relationship. I feel like we're all working together to tame Charlotte's Crohn's. Over the years, I've come to the realisation that acceptance is key. Despite my Crohn's and the fistulas, my bowels are doing their best. That realisation was a pivotal moment in accepting that the condition is a part of me. It's made me who I am today. In the beginning, I often felt overwhelmed because I'm not medically or emotionally trained to deal with the situations we often face. I've always tried to do what I think is best for us, but we often have to look to others, like healthcare professionals, for help. New carers shouldn't be too hard on themselves, and they should know that asking for help's okay. 
Although Sean isn't medically trained, he is Charlotte trained. He knows me best, when to leave me alone or when to try to help. That is key to our relationship and the support he provides. 